They were experimenting with that so-called teleportation. And he said it was so funny. They were using, you know, everyone smoked back then, these big ashtrays, and it would be, you know, an electromagnetic system here, and at the other end of the base, another one. And this, this ashtray would go, boom, teleport. But really what it is is what's called quantum entanglement where every point in space and time is connected to the other. And if you look up quantum entanglement, that's what this is. But imagine doing that not just with a particle, but with a whole object or a spacecraft. So those experiments were going on also, 30s, 40s, 50s. A common fictional device for teleportation is a warm hole. In video games, the instant teleportation of a player character may be referred to as a warp. So if, if that exists, well, it does. I mean, how are you going to go from one star system to another? One percent of the way through our galaxy, the mm -hmm. Milky Way, is a thousand light years, mm -hmm. which at the speed of light, you, which you can't go, would be a thousand years one way, a thousand years another. So in order to traverse interstellar space, and this was concluded early on by the fact they were here, and we downed some of them, you have to do basically your bending space-time through these very high-voltage electromagnetic systems that also create gravitational waves. You can bend space-time. Actually, that's where you get into this whole non-locality in physics and quantum entanglement in an applied setting. So the fact that you know it's relegated to science fiction is fine. It doesn't mean that it isn't being done because it has to be. You're not going to be able to travel through uh, interstellar distances in any way during uh, any species' life.